On the surface, a cute movie for your parents about a dog. Underneath, an amazing story of how that dog brought a very disconnected family back together. Darling Companion is an amazing new film from director Lawrence Kasten and written by he and his wife, Meg Kasten. Starring Kevin Kline as the unwilling father who doesn't want a dog and Diane Keaton and Elizabeth Moss as the mother and daughter who can't seem to let him go. Early on, we see a montage of the family falling in love with Freeway, the dog, named so for being found on the side of the freeway. But really, Darling Companion is the story of a series of relationships between one family, and I have to say it was my favorite aspect. I love films that have multiple characters, all with compelling stories, and I find it so entertaining. The way each character had so much to bring to the story, which is one of the many reasons I love Kasten's films. From the big chill to Grand Canyon, Kasten always finds a way to draw you into every character's life, and to give Kevin Klein some work. At first I thought, this might be a film for older crowds when I saw the cast, but Richard Jenkins as the free-loving optimist, and Diane Weist as the gullible, cute old lady, and then a little romance between two of the younger characters, I realized this has something for everyone. It's a great date movie or something to share with Grams, and definitely worth the price of admission. See, I... I didn't really care for it. I didn't mm -hmm. hate it, because it's mm -hmm. like a hard movie to hate, yeah. because, I mean, the first Holy Cast is great. Mm -hmm. um, it's all really likable people. But I think my biggest problem was I couldn't get invested in any of the relationships. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, my problem with the younger people was that I felt no chemistry between the two actors. Mm -hmm. And then the other couples, I don't know. It's not a prejudice because I saw another movie recently with a bunch of old couples and I loved it. Yeah. So it's not that. It's just, I don't know. You just, just couldn't find the chemistry. Yeah. It's so weird that I, that I immediately, like, I loved all their relationships and I... I thought the two younger characters, um, I thought they had, I mean, not like great chemistry, but I thought it was funny that like, a, they were obviously going to like, start something, but you didn't know what it was. But. Yeah. I also kind of wish it had gone, like towards the end, there's um, a scene where they're on the basketball court and they start to talk about death. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wish that um, it had gone more into those themes. I know it doesn't have to because it's like a light film. Right. But I felt like if it was going to touch on those at all, it would have been interesting to see it talk more about that kind of stuff. Which is interesting because like most of the films that cast that Lawrence Kasten has written, they really touch on death. Like Big Chill, I mean, one of the main characters dies, or like Grand Canyon, it's all about like people and like they're thinking about mortality. So it is interesting that like they didn't focus on that as hard mm -hmm. in this. Yeah. Yeah. What was one thing you really liked about it? Um, if you can find one. Richard Jenkins' performance. Richard Jenkins. I, I love Richard Jenkins. When he, like, when they go see the old guy in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was hilarious. Yeah, he's, he's just great. He's just so lovable and yeah. so talented. Yeah. yeah. He was my favorite part. I thought it was great. Keep riding the POA Express to amazing reviews by checking out youtube.com slash the price of admission. It's a wild ride that only ends when you subscribe to our YouTube channel.